Ronnie Matthews. And Ronnie, where do you live? I live in Winfield, West Virginia. How long have you lived here? I've lived here approximately 30 years. And where are you originally from? I'm originally from Nitro. Been a Putnam County resident all my life. And what do you do now? I am the Putnam County Circuit Clerk, Clerk of the 29th Circuit. And what has the last 48 to 72 hours been like for you? Well, it's been a little inconvenience. Uh, it's not devastating. We uh, are able to get water for drinking and, and uh, a little bit of routine stuff. It is an inconvenience that we can't wash our clothes and, and uh, shower as we should. It's not, it's not a disaster, but it's a, it's a small inconvenience. What about for people in the hospitals or well, nursing homes? How do you feel about that, that situation? That would be rough. Um, I know it's a real inconvenience for them. Um, my wife and I care for my 89-year-old father-in-law who uh, has some cancer and, and has a broken back and is almost bid fast. And, and, it's a real inconvenience to have to take care of him and try to keep him clean and, and so on. Do you know anyone who's had trouble getting water? Or has it been easy for people? No, ma'am. Everyone I know has got it, gotten some water. Um, like I say, we're not we're not going to die from thirst. We, we do have water to drink. Uh, it's mainly just the inconvenience of the, the daily routine we we're used to. What about the larger issue of now having this pollutant in our water? How do you feel about that? Well, I, I'm just not sure if if we understand it, if the water company in the state even understands it. Uh, there seems to be a lot of confusion on uh, what this chemical is. Um, you know, they're even telling us the water may not be dangerous down here. Uh, they're just not certain. So I guess they're, they're taking the uh, side of caution to keep us safe. Um, to be honest, I have showered in it once and uh, I seem to be okay. That we know of. <laughs> that I know of. What do you think about that state of uncertainty? Would you expect them to have known more about this chemical prior to this event? I would have expected the state to have had a plan, an emergency service to have had a plan. For something of this nature, um, I, I would have thought they would have known what chemicals maybe could leak into the Canal or Elk River and, and cause us harm and have a plan. And, and it seems there was no plan for this. Has this affected how you'll be able to do your job in the next few days? Well, I'm going to work with a dirty white shirt on it, but no, my, we, we have kept the courthouse open. Uh, we don't plan to close the courthouse. And that's Winfield at the that's county Winfield seat? That's Winfield at the county seat of Butler County. Uh, if they shut the water off, we will close the courthouse because of the car hazard. But otherwise, we've put sanitary wipes and cleaners in the restrooms. We've shut off the faucets. We've got bottled water available for people to drink and employees to drink. So uh, the courthouse is functioning as, as usual. Uh, it will only close if they shut the water off and we have a fire hazard. As a longtime resident of the Chemical Valley, what do you think or feel about this event within the larger context? Well, you know, we, we live in, a, in an area that it, it is risky. Things can happen. Accidents do happen. I just wish they'd had a better plan uh, of the overall situation. Uh, accidents are going to happen. Uh, if you live next to Cape Canaveral, you know a spaceship might fall on you. Uh, things happen. There's accidents. They call them accidents. But I think this was uh, not well planned uh, in case we had a disaster of this nature or an emergency. Maybe we'll call it a real disaster. I can drive five miles and get fresh water. So uh, I just wish they'd been better prepared. Who do you think needs to be held accountable, or does someone need to be held accountable? Well, you know, it's it's yet to be seen. And of course, working for the courts, I want to see see all the evidence. But 
Uh, certainly, uh, freedom industry had some responsibility that it looks like they probably lacked uh, the knowledge or the means or the money to take care of. Uh, it seems the state had information on this product, but but there was nothing put into plan. I think they're held a, a little bit of responsibility on it. And certainly, if what I hear about the water company knowing about it and waiting uh, six or eight hours to notify people, I think they have some responsibility. So uh, it may go three ways. And what do you hope to see happen as a result of all this, aside from getting back to normal? I hope they come back with a better plan so if something like this happens again, they can deal with it immediately. Is there anything you want people to know that they don't know already? No, ma'am. I think it's all being said. Okay. Thank you, Ronnie.